Hi, I'm Amber with wonderbaby.org and I have my iPad here. I wanted to go through some of the simple setting changes you can make on an iPad that makes it more accessible for a child who has difficulty with fine motor control, who may have cognitive disabilities, and you're using the apps on your iPad to try and help them concentrate, isolate their fingers, really focus and engage. You don't want them accidentally switching between apps, accidentally getting into your email application and messing around with your email or your calendar. You want them to just focus on what they're doing. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go into settings. We're already in general settings and first thing you want to do is make sure that you turn your multitasking gestures off. So when it's white it's off. Um, and this is so that you can't swipe between apps um, pinch things, swipe up to get into your multitasking so that when your child is in an app and they're focusing on that app, they can't accidentally get out of it. Um, while you're in on this screen, you can also use your side switch to either lock rotation or mute. So that would be on mute. I keep it on lock rotation. Now the side switch up here, when you turn it on, you'll see it um, makes it so that when your iPad moves, the screen stays the same and that can be really helpful for some kids and some apps that they're using so that things don't move around. Um, the next thing you want to do is go into your notification center and you'll see here I have everything turned off. You want everything turned off. Um, you can also hit edit and down here you have include and do not include. You don't want anything included. So I'm going to take my Gmail and I'm going to put that in do not include. And I'm going to take my calendar and put that in do not include. And what that does is if I get a message coming in through Gmail and it's in include, it might send me a notification saying, hey, you just got a message in Gmail. It'll give you two options, close, launch. So your kid's playing with Peekaboo Barn and they're trying to focus on what they're doing. A notification comes in, they accidentally hit launch. Next thing you know, they're in your email, they're confused, everybody's unhappy. So this just turns that all off so that when your child is focusing on what they're working on, they can just be in that app and not have all of these extra things coming up to confuse them. Um, the other thing I wanna show you while I'm in here, one more thing, is guided access. So that would be, you go back into general, go into accessibility, and you wanna turn guided access on. So I already have guided access on. You're also going to want to set a passcode. And this is not a password for your iPad. It's just the passcode for guided access. So make it easy. Make it something you'll remember. One, two, three, four is my advice for setting your passcode. Otherwise, you will forget it. Um, so now, how does guided access work and what does it do? It's very cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Ivan's Games and open up Talking Tom. And this goes like this. All right, so Talking Tom is opening and cancel. You're probably familiar with this app. Hi, Tom. Tom. How are you? How are you? So it's a fun app. I'm going to turn him down so we can't hear him. <laughs> Um, where he repeats everything you say in a silly voice. But because it's a free app, look at all of this stuff along the side. There's ads up at the top. There's all sorts of things you can click to. You can buy him clothes. You can t do all kinds of things that spend money that take you out of the app that you might not want your child to do. So with guided access on, what you can do is triple click the home button and that will open up guided access. There we go. My passcode. Um, which is why I made it easy. <laughs> and now that you're in, what you do is you draw a square. Oops, wrong square. You draw a square around the things you don't want your child to be able to touch. All of the things that might be ads. Or places where they can maybe buy things, you gray them out. So you say you're ready to go, you resume. Now you're back in the app, your child can play with it, have fun with it. When they 
hit over here. A lot of times it's not because your child's trying to buy clothes for Tom. They just happen to click over here. They happen to tap over here. Nothing's going to happen. They can't get into it. To get out of guided access, you have to triple click again. Enter your passcode, which is 1234, which is why we made it easy. And you hit the end button and guided access is ended. Um, so it's, it's very helpful, especially in those free apps that you get that um, have a lot of ads that you don't want your child to access. Um, if you're looking for more information, you can go to wonderbaby.org, click on the iPad apps at the top of the screen, and here is our article on accessibility features. I go into a lot more detail about things you can do with an iPad to make it accessible. And if you scroll down, you'll also find all of our reviews of our favorite iPad apps that are perfect for kids who are visually impaired, who have cognitive disabilities, who are, um, have fine motor issues that can help them use the iPad to learn how to do things better. So that's it for now, and I hope you learned something.